so it's Jason Lewis, a Republican. From and, Minnesota. Yeah, and uh, K-File found some audio of him uh, basically saying, like, why can't we call women sluts? So this, they set basically it up here reminding on, everybody of the Republicans' core brand proposition. They set, up the, they set it up on CNN here. Um, this is an unvarnished, it sounds like proud moment Oof. for Congressman Jason Lewis, a Republican of Minnesota. Um, our investigative team, the K-File, has unearthed a portion of a radio show from 2012, March of 2012, where Congressman Jason Lewis of Minnesota um, poses a question that is a really, I think, troubling him. He feels very hamstrung about the language that he thinks he can no longer use when referring to women. Here's this moment. <laughs> Well, the thing is, can we call anybody a slut? This is what begs the question. Take this woman out of it. Take Rush out of it for a moment. Mm -hmm. Does does a woman now have the right to behave? And I know there's a double standard between the way men chase women and and you know running running around. May you know? I'm not going to get there, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but it used to be that women were held to a little bit of a higher standard. We required modesty from women. Now, is, is, are we beyond those days where a woman can behave as a slut, but you can't call her a slut? Oh, my God. So this is literally like, you know, what's amazing is I'm sure this guy is anti-Muslim. That would be my assumption. And this is exactly the kind of comment that someone like Sam Harris could take from some right-wing mullah in Saudi Arabia and be like, this is an example of the sexism of this religion, and they would be right. <laughs> Just the problem is it's an example of a global sexism that occurs across the board and this idiot is still in Congress. It's pretty funny. I also just think like, <laughs> I just, I can't help it. I always read comments like that is just sexual resentment. I just can't interpret it any Absolutely. other way. Cause you never, if you were satisfied in your sexual and dating life, you never would have a hang up like that. You just wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah, and it also, you know, it goes back to like it's it's not the word slut, right? If feminists say the word slut, it's a different right. sort of thing. It's right? not the literalism. What 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 people are objecting to when people like Lewis say slut is the like societal judgment of women like wanting to sleep with like whoever they want to. Right. Like, that's the problem. It's not the word. Right. Right. And like this Precisely. is why we like we can't be too foot like this is why you And then conversely when I call somebody a media whore don't do your other thing on the other end. Like, you didn't use that word because that reinforces blah, 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 blah. Like, it's, it's right. It's not literalism. It's an intent and a context. And but, what he's calling it, right. And it's not the literal use of the word. He is a fundamental problem with women's sexual agency because he's a misogynist. And that's what comes across. Yeah, it's not that the, it's not the bad word. Right. And to Matt's point, this was during the whole Sandra Fluke hearing where, um. uh, Limbaugh went on air and was like, "She's a slut." I right? can't believe she's taking all these pills that are to help her with her body. I just take pills whenever I want. Like, right. well, I, I take pills to me. get high, or maybe also when I'm on a weird trip to the Dominican Republic that nobody ever talks about. <laughs> to which I would say, <laughs> "Look that up." <laughs>